name's Janelle and welcome to a surprise midweek behind the brand video. Today is the first day back at work for me for 2021 and my sewing space is a complete shambles. I was kind of still packaging and sending off orders while I was on a little break um, so I kind of didn't tidy up after myself very well. So this morning's task is just going to be to reorganize my space, get it all nice and clean and tidy to be able to start working properly. It's looking a lot more organized and tidy in here now. <laughs> so I'm now going to package up today's orders and then run off to the post office. It's gonna be a really hot day today, like 30 degrees Celsius, I think. Um, and it's been freezing here in Tasmania. So I'm really excited for some warm weather at last, uh, but I do wanna to go to the post office before it gets too hot. <laughs> Something I'd really like to try and do this year is share an occasional midweek video. So as you know, I do share my regular sewing tutorials and sewing type videos on a Sunday, but I think it would be fun to share the occasional midweek video with you as well. So I would love it if you could let me know what type of videos you would like to see. Something like this behind the brand video could be fun, but I'm open to any of your suggestions. If you have anything you'd like to see or would like me to show you, I would love to hear your thoughts. I then just finish off my packages with some really pretty packaging tape from No Issue. I have received some gifted items from No Issue in the past, but this one's not sponsored. I paid for this product full price with my own money, um, but I'm really, really happy with it. So I thought I would share it with you. Um, basically, what I do is just pop it on the back of the orders to secure the packaging and also make it look really pretty so the customer knows that it's a rosary apparel package. And they're done. This is what they look like. I just think it adds a really cute touch to the packages. Also, I am using an old pair of fabric scissors to cut that. I just can't find my paper scissors anywhere. And I haven't used these ones for fabric in a very long time. So they come in handy now as paper scissors. So I'm back from the post office, but look what I just saw. We have ticked over 200,000 subscribers. What on earth? At the end of 2020, I posted this video here called Everything I Made in 2020. And that video has kind of blown up a little bit. It's had over 500,000 views, nearly 600,000 views um, in two weeks, which I was not expecting at all. And that has a lot to do with the fact that I now have 200,000 subscribers. So thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone that has subscribed and everyone that's new that has popped over from this video. Thank you for following along. I really, really appreciate it. So yeah, that's kind of made my day, as you can imagine. Um, it doesn't feel like that long ago when I reached 100,000 subscribers. So to see that amount of growth so quickly has been very exciting um, and everyone has been still so lovely in the comments because I was a little bit afraid the bigger I grew the nastier the comments would become but it's still a really nice place to be. So another reason why I'm hoping to share more regular behind the brand videos is I sometimes get messages asking me how to go about making something or how to go about selling something that don't really require a full video to be able to explain it. Um, so I thought I could often include little bits and pieces in these videos for those who are interested in learning how to do something. So over Christmas, I got really involved in my knitting project that I'm working on at the moment. I'm making a mustard popcorn cardigan and I'm so in love with how it's turning out, but I've received so many messages asking how to actually go about making the little popcorns or bubbles. Um, let me show you what they look like. So here is my knitting here and people are just really curious to know how to go about making these little popcorns. 
I'm just using an ordinary cardigan pattern. And then my mum helped me figure out where to place the bobbles or popcorns exactly based on the amount of stitches I had for the cardigan. Um, so that's something you will have to do if you want to use just an ordinary cardigan pattern. Okay, so to knit the bobble, what I do is I go into the next stitch as you would normally, wrap the yarn around, but instead of taking the stitch off the left hand needle, I wrap the yarn around the right hand needle and then work the stitch again. And then I do that one more time, again, not taking the stitch off the left hand needle just yet. And then I will take it off. So then instead of just working the one stitch like normal, I now have five new stitches, which is what's going to create the bubble. So next, I turn the knitting around and then I go back and knit these five stitches I've created like normal. And then I turn the knitting back right side round. And what I do next is knit two stitches together, place that stitch back onto the left hand side, and then cast off the three remaining stitches. I then just simply knit the last stitch of the bobble, and that's how you create it. So I've got this little cluster of stitches here now. Um, so then I just knit another seven stitches normally. And let me just show you how to do it again. Um, I won't talk over this time. I'll just try to show you the best I can so you can see how to go about doing it. So this is the back of the cardigan, I'm definitely nearly finished it. According to the pattern, I still have like a fair bit to knit, which is kind of freaking me out a little bit because it looks very long already. Um, and I don't want a cropped cardigan, but I definitely don't want a really long one either. So hopefully it will work out as I have in mind. Um, that's kind of the tricky thing with knitting patterns you've never used before. You're not going to do like a whole test run first because this is a good solid probably two months worth of knitting here and as you can see I'm coming to the end of my last ball um so that's really impressive to see as well like this is, this is a brand new ball of the Bendigo Woolen Mills uh classic wool in the color harvest gold I think um and from that one ball you pretty much get a nearly complete back cardigan which is pretty good but yeah this is how it looks currently and I'm super happy with it and I cannot wait for it to be done, hopefully by autumn, so I can wear it once it starts to cool down here in Australia.
So I think I'm going to take the rest of the afternoon off. It's actually getting really hot and stuffy in this room and I kind of want to enjoy the summer weather while we have some. So I'm going to do that. And I might end up even going for a little swim this afternoon, which is kind of just all I feel like doing right now. So I will continue this video tomorrow. It's the next day now and the plan for today is to check the stock levels on my sewing patterns. As I was packaging up the patterns yesterday, I noticed that a few of the patterns are getting very scarily low on stock, um, so I need to reorder some more today. I actually have quite a few patterns that are already pre-folded, they're just not packaged up in their envelopes with the instruction books. So I'm going to be doing some sewing pattern packaging today as well. Um, I went to Officeworks really early this morning and printed off a whole new batch of the instruction booklets that I package up with the patterns. Um, so I'm gonna spend this morning sewing up some of these. I printed a hundred, so I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to do them all this morning, but I wanna get a fair few of those done. And then over here I have, as you can see, quite a few patterns already folded. They're just not packaged up in their envelopes, so after I finished making the instruction books, I can package those up as well and then have a bit of a count on how many of each size and pattern I have in stock. I feel like I say this all the time, but like I said yesterday, there's quite a few new people following along on this channel now. So I thought I'd mention it again. Um, purchasing a sewing pattern from me is an amazing way to support me and my channel and allows me to be able to make more helpful and inspiring content for you here on YouTube. My sewing patterns are basically my merch. I put a lot of effort into making them and I'm so excited that they're now available for you to purchase so you can make your own dresses. I sell them in both physical and digital forms. So the physical ones are the paper patterns that I'm working on today, but you can buy it at a cheaper price digitally and print it out yourself um, so you can get started on it right away and not have to wait for shipping. Um, but yeah, thank you so much to everyone who has purchased a pattern from me. I'm so grateful for the support and it's very, very appreciated. So for now, let's get started on sewing up these instruction books. So far, so good. So this is how they look. Just like all the instructions on how to make the dress that is then bound with some stitching just to keep it all nicely together as a booklet. The instruction books are all stitched up and done. So now it's time for me to take the folded patterns and an instruction book and pop it in one of the pattern envelopes. So now that the patterns are all packaged up nicely, um, I'm just going to do a bit of a stock take. So I'm going to count how many of 
each size set I have for each of the patterns and then I'll be able to tell what needs to be reordered. So as you can see, we are low on the rows of patterns. The hazel patterns we've got plenty of. I also have some that are already folded. I just need to order some more envelopes for. And the willow pattern we've got heaps of as well. So really for today, I just need to order some more of the rosa patterns. So the rosa pattern has been reordered, which is a huge relief to be honest. Um, I'm glad to have some more of those on the way. And I thought I would also mention, because I haven't already, this dress that I'm wearing, I made from the fabric store gingham linen that I purchased and showed, I think in the last behind the brand video I filmed. Um, so I've made it into this beautiful dress. I'm actually sharing the making process of this dress and two others that I made that were exactly the same just out of different fabrics. Let me show you what they look like. So here are the other two dresses that I made. They're both exactly the same as this gingham one I'm wearing right now. I think the video of me making these dresses would have gone out last weekend. Um, so I'll leave a little card up the top and a link to it down in the description if you'd like to check it out and see how I went about making these dresses. They are just so classic and yeah, beautiful. I love this dress so much. It is definitely one of my new favorites in my wardrobe and perfect on these really hot summer days. now and I actually got quite a few orders since I went to the post office a couple of days ago so I spent this morning packaging them up ready to take them to the post office and send them out and today I'm really excited to be going op shopping or thrift shopping for the first time this year and I'm actually going to film a whole separate video on this op shopping trip which will be going out this weekend so definitely stay tuned for that and subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. So yeah, I'm going to head to the post office now and then go check out some thrift stores. So I just got back from op shopping and just look at the amount of stuff I managed to find this time. I was actually really lucky and found so many beautiful vintage fabrics, which I can't wait to show you. Here's a little bit of a sneak peek of some of the things I found, but you will have to wait until my thrift shopping video, which will be coming out this weekend. So you don't have long to wait, um, but I can't wait to show you. I'm so happy with these beautiful finds. So I hope you enjoyed this video and that you enjoyed seeing a little bit of what my work week looks like. I really do love filming these behind the brand videos so be sure to let me know in the comments if you enjoyed watching it um, and if you like the idea of maybe some midweek behind the brand content. If you did enjoy this video I would love it if you could give it a like and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this one. Have a lovely day and thanks for watching!